welcome to tangling along with me we are continuing on tanglepatterns.com and today it is this pattern that we are going to work with let's open up the book and find a place for this one so this one is yet another grid tangle so i'm going to use my micron pn for this one and um either here or up here i'm not sure because this is a grid tangle i have grid here and here there and there and here i have grids everywhere right now so let's do it down here and then maybe in an angle so i'm just gonna make my grid this way so i'm just first making lines one way then turning my book and i'm starting down here making my lines the other way i soon need a new um, black pn here because this one is dying on me and then making it all to a grid then we are going to go in here and aura one box just like we did in that one um i'm jumping this one and auraing the next one and up here i am jumping this one and going into this one so it's kind of getting this uh chessboard look the same here Here we should have one, nothing there, here we have it, and over here we have one, and down here, and you just continue in your um, chisel board. In the other ones I am going to make a crisscross. And I'm doing this in all of these, um, where I don't have the aura in there. And this is really another drama tangle. Because we are going to color in a lot and for that I am going to cap this one and take my gray micron 10. So it's a cool gray micron 10. And um, you can do this in so many ways. I think I'm going to color the outside of this box here. Um, the step out for this one has a few different ideas for how to do this so I'm just gonna try and see if I can figure this out because you can either color in the outside of a box or the inside of a box so in this line here I am going to color the outside of the box like that in the other line I am going to color the inside And then again, the outside. And 
And just take your time with this coloring in the different pieces here. The inside of the box in this one. And the inside of this box as well. And you could change the color now and take another color and do the rest with another color. But I'm going to keep this one. So here I have the colored in box. So there's nothing in the outside here. And then I'm going to color in this triangular shape up here. And on the other side here as well. Down here. Working my way around in this box. To start with. And then this one. I'm going here I have one that is colored in the inside box there so I'm coloring this triangular shape here on this side and this one And as you can see, I have the opposite side gray here, so this over here would be gray as well. That is, if you can't find any more of these inside colored boxes, I have one right here, so that's easy. And this side over here as well. Um, so I have one up here as well. So you can see if you color this in black, everything of it, it is going to be a very dramery tangle here. And I have so many drama tangles on this side of uh, the side, on this side here, in this end of the page. So I'm trying to uh, loosen up a tiny bit on my black here so it's not going to be all black in this end of the page. Normally I wouldn't put so many drama tangles together but as we are following the names on these tangles that's just the way it is. Popping the cap on here. Let me see if I have a place for some white charcoal. I think I could make the inside of these boxes with a little white here to brighten this tangle up a tiny bit using my tortilla to soften it out in the box doing this in all of them I like that. Going for my graphite um, and I think I'm going here where I have the edge of another pattern. What did I do here actually? That should all be white. All this down here because that's all part of that pattern. Just coloring that in right. Um, now it's rolling on my table. 
So I'm just following this line here with my graphite. And up here where it also seems to go under. I'm kind of disappearing under these other tangles. Um, I could do it here underneath this border here as well, but I think I'm just gonna do it here on the other tangles kind of to divide these tangles from each other. And I'm going with these circle motions again. Personally, I think this makes the nicest shadow effect. Because the shadow out here is going to be more blended when you are using the circles. So there it is. That's a pattern for today. It was this one right here. I think it turned out really neat. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Have an attitude of gratitude.